the principal. So all these bitches that be acting all innocent, like they at home married and these bitches don't. These bitches be fucking. They all be fucking and then acting like each other is not fucking and everybody just be fucking, literally. Like, that's all the fuck it really be. Honestly. I'm really married. Like, I motherfucking be doing my shows at my house with my husband. That's it. I don't even go out with these motherfucking people unless I'm getting paid. Unless it's work. On some real shit. My husband be stepping behind me. My husband steps behind me. Nerd ass niggas can't play with me. The shit that the shit that these bitches let fly would never fly with me. Ever. If that's why y'all be seeing my husband's always with me and, and present is because we know these people, everybody be on some babe, everybody is weirdos, period. Everybody is fucking weirdos. Like I've been putting name on it, bitch. You must be you must be late to the live. Y'all can y'all can re-explain to these dumbass motherfuckers what the fuck I just sat up and said. But I've been putting name on this shit. I've been putting name on this shit. So yeah, with that being said. Hold on. Bitch, I'm definitely married. I walked in the courthouse room and got married, bitch. I posted my certificate and blocked out my name. I not even blocked out my name. I blocked out my address. That's all the fuck I blocked out. That was it. I don't know what the fuck's going on in my hair. I definitely put a name on it. It's not even it's not even you can't even really put a name on it because it's a it's like different people. Like it's actually a whole lot of different fucking people. I was explaining why yesterday I was tripping on my story and I was clearing up something that I really never got to clear up because I was fucking under contract. I'm not under contract no more. I can say what the fuck I want to say. Period. I be getting into it with these motherfuckers because they don't got respect for women. They don't got respect for women. Like for women. And they feel like they could just talk to bitches any type of way because the bitch is there. They're allowing that. The bitches that are there are that are present be allowing that shit. I don't be letting them niggas talk to me any kind of fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas could tell them bitches what to do because they're fucking them. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking them bitches. That's why they could tell them what the fuck to do. Motherfuckers can't tell me what the fuck to do because I'm not fucking nobody. And I'm about my motherfucking respect, bitch. I'm a real gangster. Y'all not finna be talking to me crazy. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Motherfucker is not going to be talking to me crazy. I don't care. Niggas going to have to put respect on some. If not, you see I kindly exit. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I really wanted to say. Why y'all why y'all don't be y'all don't be knowing the fucking details of shit that be going on. And I never could really speak on it because like I said, I was fucking under contract. I didn't like the narrative bitches try to say about me and my husband. And it was crazy because it's like, bitches really look at my relationship and really want my relationship. When I come around with my husband, these bitches get fucked and they're getting hid by these niggas. My husband loves me proudly. He sticks up for me. He steps behind me. He don't let no other man play with me, look at me, touch me, blink at me wrong. Okay? These bitches really want that. When me and my husband come around, bitches wish they had a nigga like I have. I have a real ass nigga. My nigga don't let them nerd ass niggas play with me at all. Not even a little bit. If any of them niggas even so as much looked at my ass, my husband would smack the fuck out of them. And they know that. Like, seriously. Would smack the dog, smack they fucking teeth out they fucking mouth. Like, on some real shit. So, that shit got me. That I couldn't wait to talk about that. I couldn't wait to finally say that. I'm the only bitch that ain't 
fucking and sucking to get what the fuck I want. I don't have a fucker gonna wanna hire me, especially on some ratchet ass show like that. They gonna hire me just for bitch, just for the fucking bitch that I am, nigga. How I talk, my slogan. Bitch, my speech. Bitch, I'm gonna get hired just because of that. Like, I don't gotta do the extras. Like, and that's why it's always a problem with me and people and them. It's always a problem with me and them because I'm not taking anything like these bitches is. I don't have to. I don't give a fuck. A motherfucker don't gotta call me to come nowhere. I don't care. I got my own motion. Like, none of that shit matters to me. Bro, my phone froze again. What the fuck? I'm going to still keep talking because y'all said last time my phone didn't even freeze. So, disrespect. None of that. Now, there. Y'all got y'all got some of the story. Y'all don't, still don't got the full everything. But these motherfuckers be weirdos. And y'all and y'all be wondering why a motherfucker don't want to be around for that shit. Or why a motherfucker left. That's why. Because I'm, I'm not taking that shit. Imagine that. Imagine that. If your workplace and then you're working with like 10 other people, right? And they're letting the boss and the higher uppers always talk to them crazy, yell at them, do all these things. And you're like the only motherfucker that really be like, bitch, I'm not having that. And then people, they respect me. So everybody else sees that shit. So they be mad about that. They're jealous of me. They don't like that. But... I'm always going to be into it with them because I'm the only one that has that respect for myself. You feel me? Why y'all don't, well, that's why y'all don't understand. Y'all just, oh, stunner girl this, stunner girl's that. She's not grateful. She's not, I don't have to be grateful and thankful for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Me fighting, me fighting, my drama is making motherfuckers money. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is going home. Motherfuckers is going home with a big paycheck every night thanks to me. Motherfuckers should thank me. If I wasn't on last season, there wouldn't have been no fucking season. Go back and go back and delete every episode of me on that motherfucker. It would have tanked. The, the subscriber, the, the fucking views would have went down the fucking drain. Me being on that fucking show, I brought a whole different fan base. I got niggas watching that shit. Niggas wasn't tuned into that shit. Not no real motherfuckers. Wasn't no real motherfuckers tuned into that show. I got motherfuckers calling from prison. I got the prison yard watching that shit. I got the hoods, the streets. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? Did no bitch on that fucking... I got the streets behind them. I really got the streets behind me. This the only fucking season I ever heard a nigga really... Oh, my nigga watches this. Like, stop playing with me. I bought a whole different type of fan base, like... A whole different type of fan base. So I know my value. I know my worth. And I don't care what none of y'all. Exactly, bro. You didn't even know about that fucking shit until I was on there. My point. So I know my motherfucking worth. And I know my value. And I know y'all mad that I'm, I took a month to talk about it. But if y'all ever, if y'all really know the type of person I am, motherfuckers really got to keep fucking with me for me to finally just explode. So I know my value and I know my worth. I don't have to do none of that. I don't have to. No, I don't. And if y'all really knew the truth, I've been funking with all these motherfuckers really behind closed doors. It's been that. I got recordings of motherfuckers breaking this shit, breaking this shit down. You know what I'm saying? Real extortion style. If you really want to be technical. We don't play with niggas, bro. <laughs> we don't play with niggas at all. So that's enough about that. I just had to clear that up. Just let y'all know why why shit be how it be. I'm not one of them bitches. I'm not just t standing for anything. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers can't, motherfuckers can't do me how they be doing them hoes, bro. I'm telling you. I'm not fucking nobody but my motherfucking husband, nigga. Not let nobody talk to me crazy at all. You can't tell me, bitch, get up, bitch, get up and go finish the fucking show. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to Stunner Girl. Okay, but how many y'all hoes, how many, ask how many of them hoes could get on live right now and say that, 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 have, that they can't do that to them. Yeah, that's what I thought. You bitches be sitting there getting hoed, bitch, like y'all fucking, I don't know what the fuck to call it. 
don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. Motherfuckers don't control my life. Like, I'm not one of them bitches that need niggas. <laughs> I got my husband. Motherfuckers don't got me living. Motherfuckers don't got me. Living in an Airbnb controlling my motherfucking money supply. Yeah. So. Let's leave it at that before it really before it really get there. Let's yeah, let's drop in tomorrow with Mozzie. And we gonna keep it like that. Tap in and drop at twelve o'clock. Bruh, if I really y'all get on my nerves because y'all y'all be swearing you know what's crazy? Y'all gotta stop thinking just because motherfuckers is flexing like they got money and they got followers. And they make it. Bruh, these bitches is living a terrible fucking life. If y'all really fucking knew the truth. And I'm damn near talking about every single last one of them hoes. And I'm not leaving near a bitch out. The only bitch I could probably say is living good is fucking Natalie. And I'm gonna leave it at that. And I hope a bitch do come up on this motherfucker trying to attest or go against what the fuck I'm saying. Because bitch, bitches don't want to do that. That's all I gotta say. Now, goodbye.